What's up YouTube, it's Beautiful Flex. In this video, I'm gonna be responding to this comment. Hey man, love the content, had a quick question. How are you still maintaining your physique present by using hybrid routine? And what was your workout now? Or what is your workout now? All right, so first things first, I wanna say this. This might not work for everyone. Of course, genetics, you guys saw me as a kid. I was already very muscular without actually training for physique. So, uh, or even without doing upper body training, I was already very ripped and very muscular. You guys see me at 12 without doing upper body training just before I started. So um, this advice might not work for everyone because there's obvious, I've, I've quite pro, I'm quite muscle bound naturally, right? So just to make that clear, um, I. I only train strength and power three to five times a week. Um, no, I say only, that's actually a fair bit actually. Um, but I don't do that much. At the moment, I'm only doing one arm push ups, pull ups, one leg squats, crunches, and then boxing training. So I do sparring, uh, I hit the pads at the gym, I hit the bag, I do shadow boxing, I skip, and I run. So basically, I do cardio, which is boxing, so running. I run normally, not at the moment, because I was worried I was going to get sick, so not at the moment, but in general, I will run Monday through Friday, two miles basically. One of the runs will be really competitive. Two of the runs, I'll, it will just be normal jogging and then four sprints, where I'll sprint about 50 meters during that run. And then two of the runs will literally just be kind of like a recovery run where I'll run a lot slower and just sustain a decent pace throughout the full distance. And then I'll skip around three rounds every single day, sometimes six rounds, uh, depending on the day. So like on a day where I don't have a lot on, I'll, I'll skip twice. So I'll do six rounds. So I'll do like fundamentals where I do shadow boxing, skipping so I'll do six round shadow boxing three round skipping and three rounds bag work sometimes I mix it up you know I'll do like six rounds bag work three rounds skipping three rounds shadow boxing but anyways I'll do that once a day usually and then some days a week I'll do like twice a day and so that that might increase the amount of cardio that I do um, I do about four and a half hours of boxing at the gym a week so like that like gym based where i'm at the gym uh four and a half hours i'd say that can increase like five and a half to six depending on if we no that's not to six what am i talking about five probably I'm, just, I'm thinking about the journey but five hours uh when you add in like the sparring that i do as well outside of the regular gym sessions that we do um where we go to other gyms and spar at other gyms and uh my strength training is monday through friday i do one arm push-ups monday wednesday friday i do and push-ups as well explosive and weighted and regular as well and i do pull-ups so weighted pull-ups high pull-ups, explosive pull-ups, sometimes even muscle-ups. I do one-legged squats and squat jumps. And for my abs, I literally just do crunches. Uh, sometimes I do ab wheel rollouts. And I also do front lever, actually, front lever holds, which actually do train your abs to a degree. So I do get that. Most of my ab development comes from doing crunches, and that's pretty much it. So I don't do anything specifically to maintain my physique or, yeah, to maintain this physique. I am quite strong. You have to understand, even during my training back in the day, that's what I'm saying about like genetics. During my training back in the day, there was only a segment in my life where I focused on building mass. The rest of it was literally just about getting stronger. I found building mass or focusing on physique boring. I preferred to focus on strength and athleticism and skill. So the muscle that I did pack on was actually just a byproduct, right? It wasn't me fixating on that. So even now, um, I've actually been cutting weight, focusing on cutting weight. I still look quite big and quite muscular but that's just a genetic thing so don't necessarily take my training thing oh yeah let me do that same routine i'll get the same i'll look the same as a result of it you might get the same results in other aspects but, but you might not necessarily look the exact same as a result of it all right even when i didn't work out that time and i spent over well, around six months to nine because it was inconsistent but anyway around six months of not training like completely like no no working out i was still very lean and actually still had quite a bit of muscle like a decent muscular development nowhere near where i'm at now i was weighing 73 kilos um but uh i still was quite muscular basically but that was just with nothing and i was barely eating as well but yeah so just understand there's a there are genetics playing a role but yeah this is my routine hope this video helped you out man any more questions leave in the comment section it's beautiful flex i'm out